I'm Luna. I'm gonna read Geronimo Stolten Four Miles Deep in the Jungle. Day five, Friday. Penelope woke up us woke us up at the dawn with the usual shower of icy water. I was beginning to wonder where she was getting it. I hadn't I hadn't had a nice ice bird. Beverage since we left New Mouth City. After a breakfast of scrambled worms, she gave us a lesson on survival techniques. Rat trap jungle is full of danger. She she squeaked. You you must be careful where you step, as you were about to see. She stuck a red flag in the ground. Sit here, Stilton," she ordered. "I was about to sit when Penelope began to shout. 'No move, Stilton!' She kicked away from the leaf of the ground. On your knees lay a huge scorpion. Be careful where you step," our teacher repeated. "If you had sat down, you'd be a dead mouse, Stilton." I shivered. My life flashed before my eyes. Then suddenly, someone was poking me. No time for daydreaming, Penelope shouted. She pointed to the path ahead. Danger is everywhere, she said again. Now walk to walk to end of the path, Stilton. He set out. I was hardly taking more than a couple of steps when I was started, suddenly lifted into the air. Bro- the rope of hidden. The rope was hidden in the bushes. It was a trap. Cheese nibble it! I cried. That I was down. I was dangling upside down. Our teacher chuckled. See what I mean, Stilton? She said, cutting the rope that was holding me up. I fell right on my snout. Ow! I screamed, but Penelope wasn't finishing me. Run to where that tree, Stilton! She demanded. I groaned. What would happen to me this time? Would I be blinded? My sharp tree branch. Would I break all of my paws? I sighed. Then I took off. Seconds later, I fell into the deep dark hole. Help! I shrieked. Our teacher peeped into the hole. You were alive, Stilton. She smirked. Good. Deal with it. Then she turned to. The others. I hope that you will rem- all remember what has happened to our friends here today. She squeaked. Now let's go. My mouth dropped open. I began to shake. This was the lowest of the low. How could she leave me alone in this dark, scary place? It was so horrifying. Can you? Can you guess why? That's right. I'm afraid of enclosed pla- space. I waited three hours. Finally, Penelope came back and pulled me out. I was still shaking, but I was proud of myself. I had done it. Yes, I, Geronimo Sultan, had faced another fear. Day six, Saturday. The next morning, I got up extra early. I hid behind my cabin door. I was I was going to trick our evil teacher at our own game. When she was arrived with the bucket, her bucket full of icy water, I stuck out of my paw. She tripped. The water flew everywhere, but not a drop landed on me. Whoops! I said when Penelope caught me. She handed me a mop. Clean up this mess, she ordered. But she was half smiling. Not bad, Stilton. She admitted, not bad for a scaredy mouse. After a breakfast of fried fleas, we cl- we line up. Penelope says she needs a volunteer, someone who was afraid of spiders. I quickly hid behind BB. I'm sure you already know why. I am afraid of spiders. I'm going to choose a name. Our teacher announced. She stared up at the clouds. She pretended to be deep in thought, but she didn't fool me. I knew what was coming. Seconds later, she cried. Still ten. Oh, why did she? Always have to pick on me. 
I sighed and came forward. Penelope picked up a small cage. It was full of hairy spiders, T steel Swiss rolls. I just think all of those spidey legs gave me a mouse bumps. Just remember to stay calm, she advised. Now, close your eyes, Sultan. She placed something on my snout. Keep very still, Stilton, our teacher whispered. And whatever you do, don't open your eyes. I tried, but I was curious. I just had to see what was on my snout. So slowly, I picked open one eye. An enormous hairy spider stared back at me. Keep still town for ten seconds. Penelope ordered, then she began to count. The rest of the group joined in. Ten, nine... Eight, seven, six, five. My whiskers trembled with fear. You can do it, Tuppy shouted. You're, you're almost there, Bibi cheered. Hooray for Stilton! Everyone shouted when the countdown was countdown was over. I pointed to the spider with a trembling paw. Take it off, please, I squeaked. Our teacher sneered. She took a spider and waved it under my nose. How strange, the spider's legs didn't seem to move at all. In fact, it looked quite stiff. I peered at it closely. It's plastic, Stilton. Penelope smirked. I fainted, but a moment later, she woke me up with a bucket full of icy water. So much for starting my day off on the on the right path. Next, Penelope pulled a huge green snake from the stack. She twisted it up into the ball of like a pro. I'm going to teach you how to tell the difference between the poisonous snake and the one that is harmless. She said, "The one I'm holding is holding now is harmless." Catch it, Silver. She shouted, throwing it to Sandy. The old mouse went pale, but she still managed to catch the snakes in mid-air. The reptile, reptiles twist itself around her neck. Without batting the eyelashes, Sandy shouted, Yippee! Everyone applauded. Penelope grabbed another snake from the sack. She twirled in the air. I always hold a snake by its tail. She explained, this way it can't bite. I watched carefully. It looks so easy. Without thinking, I picked up a snail that looked, like, looked, looked just like the others. I began to twirling it over my head. Look at me, I shouted with pride. For some odd reason, Penelope didn't look happy. Maybe she'd like to be the only one showing off. Oh well, I decided old poison fur would just have to get used to it. The new Geronimo Sultan was brave. He was tough, and he wasn't afraid to show it. Then he, I noticed Penelope had dropped her snakes. She waved her paws in the air. What was she doing? Some kind of jungle? Jungle dance? That's the wrong snake, Stilton. Penelope squeaked. It's poisonous. Moldy mozzarella sticks. I was terrified. Don't panic, Stilton. Our teacher continued. Just keep whir whirling it. My knees wobbled. My fur stood an end. Still, I managed to keep twirling, whirling the snake. Penelope began to play a tune on her float. The snake closed its eyes. As soon as it fell asleep. I wish, I wish I was sleeping too. Old poison fur had started yelling at me. Then she, then she picked me up and began to whirling me over her head. Now you, oh, now you learn, Sultan. Oh, what a day in the jungle! Day seven, Sunday. Saturday night we marched nonstop. On Sunday morning we. We reached our first camp. We had only been gone for a week, one week. Still, it felt like a lifetime. I had learned so much. Yes, I had to admit it. The course in the jungle has changed my life. After our fun, final book, book breakfast, we said our goodbyes. I was sad to see my new friends go. 
We have been through so much together. Tabin helped me. Thank you, Geronimo, he said. If it weren't, you, weren't for you, I'd be at the bottom of the river. Susie squeakers winked at me. It's great to meet you, boss. Pinky would, Pinky would be proud of you. She grinned. Bur, Bert, bur, burler rat crashed my paw, crashed my paw in a strong grip. And Sandy Silver, fur gave me a, a photo of me whirling the snake. So you won't forget it, of course. She chuckled. I grinned. I knew I would never forget my adventures in the jungle or the friends I had made. I invited them all to New Mouth City. Finally, it was Penelope's turn. I bet she have you have a nice sultan. She smirked. I, sh I shook my paw. I shook her paw. I wasn't about to ar argue. Penelope had curtained me. I felt like a new new mouse. I wasn't afraid of fra anything. I wasn't afraid of anything anymore. I could I could swim in the wild rivers. I could climb trees as tall as the skyscrapers. Scrappers. I could even eat bug sandwiches. Of course, I didn't have to like them. From now on, I'd be sticking to my favorite line kind of sandwiches, the ones with cheese, like a grilled cheese on the rye, ham and cheese on the hard roll, and cream cheese and jelly on the wool wet wheat. And I turned to around I turned around to leave, then shouted, Thank you, Miss Poison Fur Penelope waved. You can call me PP, she giggled. She really was one special mouse. Maybe someday I could take her out of the dinner after all. As long as she didn't order any books or make me take her mountainous climbing course. Suddenly I was surrounded by my family. Thea, Trap, and Benjamin were sight for sore eyes. I didn't realize how much I had missed them. Yes, I knew my sister can be bossy sometimes, and my cousin loved to play pranks on me, but they're still family. Just then, my nephew threw his paws around my neck. Are you still angry with me, Uncle Geronimo? Benjamin asked. I stroked his tiny ears and grinned. Of course I'm, of course not, my little mousy. I sigh. I love you too much. And I hugged Thea and Trap too. You're right, Sultans. I said this course was the best things for me. I'm cured. The same yellow jeep took us back to the airport from the camp. Then we boarded on the ma plane to New Mouth City. I couldn't wait to get there. As we were flying home, I thought about everything that had happened to me. I had faced my fears and I have met four brand new friends. Five, if you count to Penelope. Yes, the experiments had taught me a lot of things. Like it's much easier to overcome the problem if you tackle tackle to get tackle it together. And the bucket full of icy water was a terrible the way to make up in the morning. Tell me everything, please. Next morning, I want to see Dr. Shrinkford. Tell me everything, please, he insisted. You were right, though, doctor, I squeaked. I went to the ready trap jungle and faced all of my fears. I'm cured. He seemed very pleased. I'm, I told you it was up to you. Uh, ouch, my, feet, my niece is very clever, she murmured. I sat up straight. Miss Poison Fairy is your niece? I asked. Yes, well, it was I who gave her name to your relatives. He confessed. I, I was sure it would work. Penelope's style can be a little wacky, but I knew she was the only one who could help you. It all boils down to this. So I guess that's the end of my story. It really all boils down to this. I'm no big I'm no longer afraid of flying. I'm no longer afraid of the dark. I'm no longer afraid of spiders. I'm no longer afraid of snakes. As 
As I said, I'm cured. I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid. Oh well, there is still one thing. I'm I'm still afraid of cats. But then Doctor Shrinkfur says that's perfectly normal. After all, I am a mouse. Thank you for watching and have a great day. Bye.